Welcome to General Chemistry 1. This is Jennifer Senyel, your teacher for this subject. Our first topic would be an introduction about matter and its properties. Okay, so lesson outline. So first, we're going to define matter and identify its properties. We'll also be discussing classification of matter, changes in matter, and the states or phases of matter. Okay, so this, this is already discussed in your junior high school science so this is basically a recap of your concepts okay so what is matter so our usual definition of matter is it is anything that occupies space and has mass okay now what's the difference of mass and weight so mass refers to the amount of substance while weight would refer to the downward pull of object towards the center of the earth okay now for the properties of matter we actually have two two types. You have the physical properties and the chemical properties. Okay? So physical properties are properties that can be observed and measured without changing the substance, while the chemical properties are properties that can only be observed by changing the type of the substance. Okay? So another classification would be the extensive versus the intensive properties. Okay? So extensive properties depends on the amount of matter so example you have height weight temperature size shape volume and others while the intensive properties they depend on the type of matter not the amount okay so it is actually used to identify a substance so examples of these are boiling points freezing points melting points solubility malleability viscosity and others okay now this um, flow chart is um, an overview or this actually summarizes now the different types or the different classification of matter, okay? So generally, uh, you have two types or two classifications of matter. We have the pure substances and you have your mixtures, okay? So let's have the pure substances first, okay? So pure substance actually possess definite, fixed, and unvarying composition with unique set of properties. So it so a pure substance is made up of only one kind of matter. Okay. So your pure substances could be um, your elements or your compounds. So the elements are the simplest form of your substance and it cannot be decomposed by simple chemical means. And these are the building blocks of matter. Examples of your elements are carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, or and others. Lahat na makikita sa periodic table. Okay? Now, compounds. Now, examples of our elements here, we have your silicon, antimony, and boron. Okay? Now, different types of elements. You have your metals, non-metals, and metalloids. So, this would be discussed in another video. So, next, you have your compounds. So, compounds are substances that are made up of molecules with two or more kinds of atoms in definite proportions. Okay? So, example, I have here my favorite compound, which is caffeine. Okay? So, other common compounds, you have H2O or your water. Okay? So, compounds can be classified as um, according to their bonds. So, it could be ionic, covalent, or metallic. Again, this would be separately discussed in another chapter. But again, for ionic compounds, um, the bonding is actually by electron transfer. For covalent compounds, you have electrons sharing. And then for metallic compounds, you have the interaction between metallic elements. Okay, so according to their composition, you now have two types. You have the organic and the inorganic compounds. So yung mga organic compounds, lahat ng may carbon, they are classified as organic. While the other elements, you now have the inorganic Compounds, so we have your acids, your bases, salts, and your oxides. So oxides, anything with oxygen and another element. Salts, when you have combined your positive and negative ions. Your bases, they usually contain a metal with a hydroxyl group. And your acids, they contain hydrogen and they yield hydrogen ions in water solution. So an example of your acid is your vinegar, acetic acid, so your citric acid, and the there are a lot of um, acids commonly found in your household, okay? So, yung basis natin, um, example, is your sodium hydroxide. Ano pa? Madami pang mga different bases. So, kindly check your book for the examples, okay? Now, this is a pH scale. So, it would tell you the acidity and the alkalinity of your compounds, okay? 
So, yun yung examples. You have your battery acid, gastric fluid, acid rain, etc. So, 7 is, or the pH 7 is actually the neutral pH. Okay, so we have here pure water. Okay, now let's go to the second classification of matter, which are your mixtures. So, mixtures are actually composed of two or more substances. So, according to appearance, you have the homogeneous and the heterogeneous mixture. So, homogeneous, they have uniform appearance. While for heterogeneous, you have two or more distinct portions. So, they have different properties and composition. Okay, so I have here a set of yummy food. So, which, are, which among these are homogeneous and heterogeneous? Okay, so that's your assignment. Okay, now, um, classification of mixtures according to the particle size. So, you have now solution. So, it is usually um, on the molecular size. So, you have your solute and your solvent. Then, you have your colloids. So, their size is actually 10,000 angstrom. So, you have two parts of this. So, so solution, maritime solute, and solvent. For the colloid, you have your dispersing phase and the dispersion medium. Okay, so we have the sol and gel. So these are the solids and liquid, the aerosols. So these are the solid or liquid in gas. We also have the emulsions or the liquid in solid liquid, solid or liquid, I mean. Then you also have your foam. So these are the gas in a solid or liquid. Okay, so your first phase in the mention is actually the dispersing phase, while the second um, phase is the mention or the dispersion medium. Okay, so example for the gel, the sol and gel, yung mga gel ace, I mean the gelatin. Okay, so di ba when you prepare your gelatin, so there are solid powder, so you put them in liquid, so nag, nag, nag mix sila. Okay, aerosol for example, yung mga spray. Okay, so there's actually liquid, di ba yung mga bottles ng mga spray natin, for example yung mga insecticides. Yan. So, there are liquid particles in a pressured gas or pressurized gas in a container. So, emulsion, for example, is your uh, mayonnaise. Okay? Ano bang composition ng mayonnaise? Diba gawa siya sa egg white? And then, you also have your oil. Okay? So, it's liquid and liquid. Then, your foam. So, kapag nag ng mga, um, for example, ng foam is yung mga shaving cream. So, there are gas and solid. I mean, gas and liquid. Okay. Now, for suspension, these are uh, mixtures with um, particle size larger than 10,000 angstrom. Ang um, example ka ng suspension usually is yung mga medicine na may hinhalo. For example, yung sa paracetamol. Di ba yung mga paracetamol for kids? Yung nasa bottle, usually di ba shake Kailangan mo siyang ishake muna for the particles to really mix with the um, with the solution, okay, or with the fluid part, okay. So, there are some separation techniques for your mixture, so, wedding filtration, so, this is the separation of a solid from a liquid using a filtering membrane, so, distillation, separation of liquids in homogeneous mixture, then you have your magnetic separation, so, obviously, gagamit ka ng mag magnets, then you have decantation. So, this is the separation of a solid from a liquid in a heterogeneous mixture based by gravity. And last, you have your sublimation. So, this is for the separation of your volatile solid and volatile solid from a non-volatile solid. Okay? Now, changes in matter. I know you already um, knew this. So, just an overview or just a recap. We have your physical and chemical changes. So, physical changes... These are the changes in physical properties without changing its chemical composition. Well, yung chemical, so it's a change in its chemical composition and constitution of the substance. Okay? So, so physical change, no new product is formed. It's temporary, reversible, and there is no change in mass. Chemical change, there is new product formed. It is permanent, irreversible, and there is a change in mass. Okay? Now, examples of changes in matter, so yung physical, you have your evaporation, which is the change from liquid to gas, condensation, gas to liquid, melting or liquefaction, it is the change from solid to liquid, freezing or solidification, change ng liquid to solid, you have your sublimation, solid to gas, and last, you have your deposition, or the change from gas to solid. So, examples of chemical changes, 
you have your burning, rusting, curdling, rancidification, digestion, photosynthesis, cooking, fermentation, and a lot more. Okay? Now, states of matter. Man, pa ba sa nalilito about the states of matter? So, I hope wala naman na, no? So, kung meron pa rin nalilito, kindly send me a message, okay? So, solid. So, we have your solid, liquid, and air gases. And, we also have your plasma. So, it is said to be the fourth state of matter. It's not a common state present on Earth, but it is most common in the outer space, in the universe, okay? Now, again, as I mentioned, this is just an overview of matter and its properties, okay? So, another topic related to matter and its properties is actually um, measurements and application of mathematics and chemistry, okay? So, we'll have a separate video on that. So, I hope this brief video gave you um, a recap of the basic concepts that you would be needing in General Chemistry 1. Okay, so if you have questions, comment them, comment them down below or you may send me a personal message. Okay, so I'll see you in my next video. I hope you learned something. Bye!